Okay, here we go. We're going to finish off the chocolate decadence now. We're going to pop it out of the screen form pans, like so. And we want to remove it and the paper. And you can put it on a plate. I'm just going to put it right back on my screen form pan bottom. So it's handy and it fits. But we know when we cut it, we won't have the wax paper underneath. Now I'm going to take the melted caramel, that's the 25 pieces and the third cup of heavy cream. And I'm just going to pour it all over the top and splidge it all around. It doesn't have to be super fancy neat, as it will work its way into the low spots and crevices more. Make sure you get it up onto the edges. It's going to harden. This is cold. The cake has been refrigerated overnight so that when you put the caramel onto it, it adheres to it nicely. You don't want to do this to a hot cake, it's just going to puddle everywhere. Okay, see how nice that went? A little bit more up around the edges, and voila, we're done there. And then we're going to grab our nuts. This is a half a cup of chop chopped pecans, and sprinkle them evenly over the top of the caramel while it's hot so it sticks and it doesn't look like we're going to need quite the whole half cup oh sure why not it'll fit nothing but a bunch of yummy nuts anyway right and then we're going to take that one candy bar that was extra dark cocoa, 60 or 85 percent, whatever you got. If you don't, just use some of the baker's chocolate and just drizzle it all over the top so you get a nice neat design like this. Don't use too much of it. This is a 3.5 ounce bar and I just used about half of it. So there you go. And voila! We now have Leslie's Caramel Pecan Chocolate Decadence. Good luck, hon. I hope you win.